Hello magical people! So today we're going to be chatting about the basics of spell casting and battling in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So here we go! Okay, first things first, we actually have a little toad friend who's been living on our back deck for a couple of years now, and he has found himself a little home inside our dog's pooper scooper. Hang on, let me show you. Hello, Mr. Friend. All right, let's get back to business. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to basically trace a spell, as well as a couple of tips for tracing the best spell. Hang on one second. Okay, so. First thing you're going to do when you're trying to release a foundable from a confoundable is you're going to tap on a trace. So I just tapped on, I believe it's a Hogwarts trace. Alright, so we have to return this remember all back to Neville. So always when you're casting a spell, you're going to want to tap on the um, glowing ball of light there. That's like the spell that comes out of your tip of, tip of your wand, basically. Okay, so you're going to want to tap on this glowing ball of light. And I'm doing this through a camera screen, so bear with me. You're going to want to trace. And now, when you trace, you want to trace as quickly and as accurately as possible. But you always want to hit those red dots or else it won't count. See, I, didn't, I missed that red dot. So I always want to trace on the path as much as possible. I'm going to tell you how it was. Mine was fair. Again, I'm doing this through a camera screen, so... And now, once you've cast your spell, you don't need to do anything else. You let go, and you just watch the animation happen to see if you release the foundable. You ready? Terrible. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. So, we were successful in that attempt. Yay! You can also skip this screen if you don't want to watch this animation anymore. After playing for a little while, you kind of get a little bored with it. You can just tap on the screen, and it brings you right to the end. So the key to foundables, or to returning foundables from confoundables, which are guarding the foundables, there was a lot of foundables in one sentence, but the key to it is to trace it as quickly and as close to the path as you can, but speed over accuracy, as long as you hit those red dots. So a boobleo is going to be this one. Again, I'm going to start where the shining dot is, and that's going to get at least a good, I didn't check, oops, resisting it. Good. Almost great. And we caught the chicken, and we got the Weasley Wizard Rockets back. Again, you can tap. If you don't want to watch all this stuff, tap and see the results at the end. All right, we're going to wait a couple minutes to see if any oddities pop up. So the reason I'm showing you this from this point of view is because I've actually had a lot of people that were confused by where, what you do with your hands while catching these things. So I'm showing you where my fingers are and what my hands are doing in order to help everyone understand a little bit better how to actually physically cast a spell. Okay, so out of these are these purple traces over here. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show you how to battle. So this is a centaur and he's pretty easy to take down. He's the one that I took down in my last video. So again, we're going to line up with the bottom here. This um, little ball of energy. We always start there. So we're going to click that and then we're going to line up that circle to match the other inner circle. Again, to start with the circle of energy. And again up here to Protego, start with the circle of energy and drag down in the direction that it shows you to. So we're going to line up again the circle. But if you take too long, he gets a chance to attack. So keep that in mind. Speed is everything in Wizards Unite. And he went bye-bye. 
So those are the basics in how to battle and how to trace a spell. Alright, so that's the basics of battle and spell tracing. The speed is everything in battle, don't forget that. If you take too long to cast your spell, then your opponent gets a chance to cast a spell against you. So you always want to be offensive first and then defensive. After you cast a spell, you trace the glyph and you let the game do its thing. Um, there's no need to tap. There's a misconception that you have to tap the wand tip at the bottom of the screen. That's not the case. It's sort of like in Pokemon Go, once you throw a Pokeball, you just let it go, see where it lands. Same basic concept. The number one thing about tracing is to always start where the ball of energy is. So once you see that ball of energy, put your finger there and trace in the direction that the arrow indicates. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If there's anything that I forgot that you're confused about with regards to battles and regards to spellcasting in general, just basic spellcasting, please let me know in the comments below. But before I go, I have two bits of news. The first is that our first ever Wizards Unite Fan Fest is going to be held this Labor Day. It's Labor Day weekend, I should say, not this Labor Day. Um, August 31st to September 1st in Indianapolis, Indiana, in the United States. Hopefully, I will be there if I can afford it. And hopefully I'll get to meet some of you fabulous people. The second bit of news is that I believe we have our first Wizard Unite Community Day, so to speak. It's going to be this Saturday. I got an in-game notification as I was filming this video. It says, Task Force Emergency Imminent. A Task Force Emergency Approaches. On Saturday, grab your wand and help the SOS Task Force contain a flare-up of foundables. For a limited time, INS will prov provide extra spell energy, and Care of Magical Creatures Traces will award additional family XP. So that sounds to me like our first Pokemon for Community Day are the Care of Magical Creatures Traces. They will award additional family XP, so it'll be a good time to rank up your Care of Magical Creatures. So yeah, that sounds exciting. So let me know if you're going to go meet up with some people in your community for this Community Day sort of event. And also let me know if there's anything I missed, anything that you're confused about in the game. With that being said, I'm going to go edit this video so that I can get this news out to you all. And then I'm going to do some laundry because I'm out of clean clothes. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe down below, and see ya!